hello everyone my name is monojit de so i am making this video for those teachers who who are actually teaching nowadays through online so basically you could see in the youtube or in google that most of the online teachers are using a smart board to teach the students and these are actually very interact interactive uh, teaching so for that so most of the teachers cannot afford those uh, those type of board so they can use their smartphone to do so so let's see how we can do uh, how we can actually make our smartphone as a smart board so for that you have to download an application you can find the application on the google play store just click on the google play store and click on the search bar uh, search bar and you can search that is my view board click on the search button and you could find that uh, there is a app the name of the app is my view board so click on install and uh, just wait for a few minutes so here you can see the app has been downloaded so it has taken some time because the size of the app is 65 mb so now click on the open button app so this is the dashboard now you can see you can see here you can see the message has been given so you have to click on the activate button so now click on the activate button and choose the user option and here you have to choose your email address just submit click on the submit and it will take some time and click on okay click on the okay again now the app has sent a email so click on the email scroll down and click on activate you can see the message the software has been activated we hope you enjoy it so let's go to that uh, let's go to that software okay now now you can see software has been activated now click on the cross button and it will be so before starting i request you to please rotate your screen horizontally now to use uh, this app you can use this app by your hand but it is more difficult to use so i suggest you that uh, a pane is available in the online the name of the pane is stylus so you can make it at your home so it is very easy to make so i suggest you, you can you make it so how to if you don't know that how to make it so you can uh, comment on the comment section i will upload another video for that so before uh, starting i just want to uh, i just want to say that the bottom left corner you could see there is a symbol so by clicking this you can get an option so there is you can see there are lots of colors by choosing any color you can change the color of the whiteboard okay so now see there are also lots of options this means grid this means watermark this means calendar this color this is a different types of uh, pages these are the shapes different types of shapes you can choose so let's see what are the things let's see first this so if you choose any of this see this page and you can see the page color has changed so now you can draw anything on this page okay so better to use whiteboard now see uh, there are lots of options so first this option this by clicking this you can by dragging this you can change the position of that bar okay let's see you can see now i can change the position of that okay and the second for this bar if you click this it will be full screen view okay now the second now the third one now the third one is it is paste paste option it is previous it is next page previous page this is previous page this is next page this is create a new page this one is you can see all the pages on the top right corner you can see now it is only one page you can see so by clicking the this option so by clicking this option you can change you can uh, add more pages see if you add see it is not two okay now it is two now click now it is three okay now click now it is four now if you click that four you can see that one two three four pages has been created so here also a plus symbol is there you can see 
plus symbol is there you can add pages by this also now here you can see there is a cross uh, this is 55 five, right uh, okay this is 55 five. so that means uh, five out of five page so on the left hand side you can see a cross mark if you click on the cross mark and click on yes that means the page has been deleted now on the right hand side you can copy the same page see the fourth page and the fifth page is same because you have to you have copied it okay now you have understand the top uh, this symbol meanings now come to the next uh, bar this symbol you can also move by dragging this you can also move the bar so this is for that the next is the folder you can save it by clicking this you can save the uh, project in the next the next means this one this one is the open box this is the magic box see the first one sorry see the first one this is the internal storage this is not this is not required this is a compass and scale you can use this is a camera you can use front camera back camera this is the external storage okay now this these are the folders in your internal storage so let's see what we can do if you click on you have to double click all the folders to open it now click on i have made a folder so if you click one this is these are the images okay these are the images videos and pdfs so if you click double click on a video the first one is video so if you double click it so you can see in the background the video has been added now if you double click on the picture a picture is has been also added now if you mm, click on the pdf the pdf has also been imported now if you click how many pages you need and click on import it will be imported so now you can see that there there is six pages right six pages see these are the first two three four pages this is the fifth page okay and sixth page this is the sixth page seventh ninth tenth these are the pdf okay and let's go to that sixth page and click on the click on this this is a video so how to play this video just click on the play button and you can see the video the video has started okay by this way you can demonstrate a video also in your screen so this is our school okay so so this is video and see this one this one is the image just delete button okay let's take an image so see this is an image this is an image you can use an image also so you can see now this is a chrome button this is a chrome button you can download something from the chrome also so this is hand option so by clicking this you can also zoom or zoom out or zoom in or shifting the page from one side to another side see like this okay you can zoom zoom out or drag you can do anything by this hand option now next option is select option for this i have to go to next page okay now see if you click on select option if you just select it and you can see there are lots of option see there are lots lots of option the first one is delete just a minute first one is delete next one is lock next one is you can add some url next one fourth one is uh, copy fifth one is cut and these are the options rotate and full screen just like that so there are lots of options so next option is paint tool this is the important important uh, tool in this app so this is the paint tool by choosing it you can change the color of the paints and by you can change the size of the paint also and the capacity of the ink the intensity of the ink also so there are lots of uh, pink highlighters also okay you can choose highlight option also and this is eraser oh i have just increased the size now it's okay so it is the eraser option now you can 
increase the eraser okay let's see if we draw something now if we want to erase so you can change the size of the eraser so i have changed now see this is the eraser and see there are three options at the top you can select also and it, it will be erased now there are if you click on the delete option uh, it clear the page okay it clears the page now this is the erase of op erase option now i think fourth one is the sh uh, next one is the shape option you can choose any shapes like rectang rectangular circular and triangle okay hexagonal anything okay these are the and the next one is t t means text if you click on here and you can type anything okay you can type anything you can make it bold okay just a minute you can change the mm, fonts also you can change the fonts you can change the color of the text okay so the text will be found on in the screen and the next option is undo if you click on the right arrow it will be if, if you click on the left direction arrow it will be undo and the next one is redo now the very interesting tool is magic box let's see what we can do by this let's click on the scaling option now you can choose scale and protector and compass let's see first we choose if we choose scale you have to double click on that now here you can see a scale has been added so just drag the arrow on the right hand side you can drag the scale you can change the scale size also now how to draw a perfect straight line just okay now see how to draw a perfect straight line just hold your pen and draw it this is very easy right this is very easy now click on the you can rotate the scale from the options okay you can if you rotate the scaling you can rotate the scaling also if you want to specify the degrees the angle you can do so and you can rotate this angle also and if you click on the cross it will be tilted now how to use the compass see if you double click it the compass has been added now see there is a okay let me just okay now see here's a pin if you just hold if you just hold the pen from the top portion and uh, drag it okay just click on the pen tool now drag it and uh, you can see it it can draw an arc okay you can move your compass from the top portion now again you can draw a circle right you can draw any circle okay now you can change the you can change the size you can do anything now if you want to zoom your question you can choose the hand option just zoom your question okay. select your question zoom it now if you want to copy it just click on the copy option and paste it here and again you paste it it will be pasted see it will be pasted click on the paste paste here okay you can do anything you can rotate it Okay, just you can rotate it click on rotate here you can see it has been rotated so these are the uh, tutorials of this app so you can use uh, timer also in this app so for that you have to download another application that is floating timer so you can add timer for your you can take a test so to to take a google meet class just uh, you have to open google meet just i am trying to uh, open the google meet app so if you just a minute yes if you start a new meeting now if you start a meeting so you can do a, uh, you can do one thing just click on that button and you can see an option that is screen sharing right that is screen sharing now you can click on screen screen sharing it will say starts now click on start sharing okay now your screen the students can see your screen okay now you go to that app whiteboard now go to that app 
okay just a few minutes okay now go to the tab close that choose the paint option choose the desired shape and desired color and start your lecture it is very useful and it is very helpful for the students also because students sometimes cannot cannot uh, see your um, in the camera so you can do so and in this app you can do one thing more that is you can choose the camera option you can if you choose the camera option you can see you can select back camera front camera so if you choose front camera so choose on the allow option so students can see your face right now the room is dark so that you cannot uh, see anything but students can see you your face so you can draw it in this also you can draw it something so you can do many more things so in this video i cannot explain the everything so uh, that's it for today thank you if uh, the video is helpful for you please uh, subscribe my channel